I'd be remiss if I didn't include one of my Chinese bows in the fun. This is the top archery triangular laminated bamboo bow. It is rated 45 to 28, and it actually is 45, 41 on my fingers, right, at 26. Uh, now, I know this bow is a fast bow when I use thumb draw, and I use overdraw. So, of course, pulling more weight, basically, and I'm getting more power stroke. And that changes the grains per pound. So, same arrow as all four others that I've done. Because there's five bows I've done today already. Um, and you're watching this video. They're all separate videos at this point, because the first video, and then I decided I'll make some more. This is the last one I'm going to do. And so far, the leader is the Archercraft out of Toronto from 1966. Grandpa is in the lead. Not a huge difference, but hey, Grandpa's winning. So let's see what this one can do. So, 41 pounds on my finger, 26 inch draw, 10.92 grains per pound. Now, this one doesn't have a shelf. That may be a factor. This is a 60 inch bow, so it is difficult for me to shoot down here. The archery craft was 64 inch, and I, I suspect it actually can perform better. Actually, I think all of these bows probably perform better if I have more room and I'm able to get better posture because I'm kind of crouching a bit. But still, it's a fascinating comparison. Now, I'm just comparing the initial speed. The chronograph, which is in meters per second, is um, two meters away from me. So we're reading the speed after two meters of flight. And unlike other people, I don't shoot from that side of the bow with my fingers, simply because um, I have a tendency to go to the right, and I'm not used to it. So I'm going to shoot conventionally. Ooh, 38.5. I was expecting higher. is suffering a little bit because of the crouching. Yeah, close enough. I'm going to do two more. 39. 40.3. One more. 39.3. Forty point one. Put this away. Get my handy dandy clipboard. Do my math. Well, the clipboard is done. One hundred and thirty feet per second, average. It was eleven arrows instead of ten. So an average of thirty nine point six eight meters per second. That's one hundred and thirty two and two inches. One hundred and thirty feet and then two inches per second. So that's five. The, the archery craft wins. Second place goes to the botanic. Third place goes to the bear, followed by the raven, and then the wing, and then last place goes to the archery. Now, I know all of those bows, all of these bows can go faster. Change your arrow weight. Change your draw draw further, right? Well, I know this one go faster. I've clocked it at 180 feet per second. Now, that's 29 inch draw, right? So six more inch draw and at least another six pounds. So 46, 47 pounds, give or take, I don't know. I'd have to look it up to find out. I don't, I don't have it on the clipboard.
Um, but I do know I can go faster. Actually, it's 179 feet per second. I, I apologize, not 180. But the grain per pound was a lot lower. It's like eight, nine maybe, um, plus greater draw weight. Much smaller fletchings, because your fletchings make a difference as well. I mean, all of these different. There's many, many different things that are going to influence the speed of your arrow, and then of course the impact of your arrow is based on the total mass of your arrow, not the grains per pound. Take what I've done here with a grain of salt. Other than the fact that I had fun. And it was interesting to see the differences, and I was quite surprised at the Bodnik, and more surprised with the Archie Craft. And I suspect the reason for that is because it's a 64-inch bow versus, for example, the Bear being a 48-inch bow. Size matters, guys. Keep having fun.